When the Minnesota Fighting Vikings transitioned away from the Mike Zimmer 4-3 defense to the Ed Donichel 3-4 defense, the question was going to be what was going to become of Harrison Smith. Now, respect. Uh, what Mike Zimmer did really well is he allowed Harrison Smith to be Harrison Smith. Uh, a degree of freelancing, especially up at the line of scrimmage, blitzing, fitting against the run, all that stuff that makes 22-22 is fantastic. And even though it's been really good this year for Harrison Smith in terms of interceptions, passes broken up, he had uh, three straight interceptions uh, in games in the middle of the season it, it, it seems like it's been lacking a little bit you know that spice that that nice nice that makes Harrison Smith Harrison freaking Smith we haven't quite seen that and Ed Donatel needs to unleash the fury because looking at where Harrison is lined up uh, last year the final year of Zimmer versus this year the first year of Donatel Maybe the last year, Donatel. So Harrison was the man in the box. 42.1% of the time, he was on the D-line or inside the box. So he, he was up there basically as an extra linebacker, and he was doing good things. This year, uh, that uh, number has shot down way below to 25.9%, and he's playing free safety almost 50% of the time more uh, as the Vikings are playing a lot more zone, a lot more cover two than in previous seasons. So it, it's kind of unfortunate because even though, yes, Harrison Smith can still cover, that that's never been his forte. Uh, like, sitting back as a safety, yes, but... Seeing him lined up in the slot, seeing him in one-on-one -on -one spots, that's not really been his forte, uh, even uh, back in the day when he was younger, coming out of Notre Dame in 2012. But now, yes, black and white stats, pretty damn good. And like we said, seven passes broken up, three interceptions this year, but they need to get back to where he wants to belong. And you saw that to a degree in the Patriots game, where Harrison Smith was down in the box, he was blitzing on third down, he was making Mac Jones move off the spot, and we need to see more of that, because that's what Harrison Smith brings to the table, man. Uh, so, why? You know, why do this? So, the Vikings have been amongst the league leaders in terms of light boxes. Uh, so, the, the Vikings are typically putting five, six men in the box, which it ain't, ain't it. And that leads to number two. One of the reasons why teams have had success running on the Vikings on first and second down is because they generally have light boxes. So Harrison down in there making it six, seven, sometimes eight. It does make a lot more sense uh, because Harrison Smith is one of the better run defending uh, safeties in the National Football League. Three blitzes. And I, I know Donis Tell wants to play, hey, rush four, drop seven, and those four will get home, and those seven will be there to either make the tackle short of the yard, uh, line to gain or break up the pass or get an interception, all that stuff. It's fantastic when it works out, and it has worked out at times this season. But if you can't get home before, you got to send some more. And Harrison Smith as a blitzer uh, has been phenomenal. Like, we've seen this throughout his entire damn career. He's one of the best blitzing safeties in the National Football League. Now, you know, Not only racking up sacks, but getting pressures, moving quarterback off the spot, uh, pushing them up into the rest of the rush and just uh, offensive coordinators and quarterbacks not planning on him rushing right so that bleeds into number four where hey if they know that Harrison is going to be playing too deep safety the entire time that that takes away from some of his aura some of his mystique so the quarterback's just like all right there's 22 as opposed to 22's on this side 22's lined up next to Zadarius Smith are they both coming or is one of them dropping out what what the hell's going to happen here so that sticks in the back of their mind and if you want to play games up front that's exactly what you need to do because Harrison Smith is the ultimate freelancer because what he, he did in the Zimmer defense especially at peak 2017 and the years beyond like Harrison Smith whether it's coming up and stopping the run keeping contain on a running quarterback uh, blitzing and getting after the quarterback's ass dropping back into coverage uh, into a, a zone where the quarterback doesn't expect him all of a sudden it's a pass broken up or maybe even a Harrison Smith interception that's what he does best and that's what Don tell it, it seems like he's realizing this it seems like he's realizing this because Harrison's usage uh, has gotten more box heavy the last couple of games. So hopefully Donatello is wising up. And I mean, that's something that Harrison Smith, I mean, Harrison Smith is going to listen to coaches. Like he's not a diva. He's not anything like that. Uh, he's going to do what the team asked him to do, but they, they got to unleash him. And we said like the Vikings defense, it's opportunistic. It, it can be solid, but it's not a shut it down, you know, 2000 Ravens, you know, 2013 Seahawks, uh, 85 Bears. It ain't that, right, where you can just line up and go. Uh, so they do have to gamble. They do have to take chances. I think Harrison down in the box, blitzing, uh, filling up against the run. I think that's one way that the, the Vikings defense can equalize against some of these better offenses in the league. But uh, we'll, we'll see. You know, like I said, Harrison in coverage, fine. Yes, but we, we know that Harrison does his best work down in the box. So hopefully... 
the let 22 be 22, but we'll, I'm not holding my breath. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Let Harrison be freaking Harrison, man. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.